What if the state you lived in put on the upcoming ballot an initiative on whether forward-facing sonar should be allowed in at any type of recreational fishing, including tournaments? How would you vote? And there's no middle ground. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. A vote yes would allow forward-facing sonar, meaning freshwater and saltwater anglers can use it, can use the technology. Crappie anglers, bass anglers, all anglers in tournaments and recreational Joes, the weekend warriors, can use it to compete and use it at any time. Everyone. A vote no or against means it's a complete ban. No tournaments, no recreational fishing. It's a complete ban of the technology for everyone. And I mean everyone. Which way would you vote? Recently, BassFan or BassFan.com is conducting this survey because it could be in a couple on a couple ballots in the upcoming election or during the upcoming election. And I've kept my eye on the voting as it stands. And I have some notes right here. So this poll started on April 25th. On April 26th, I noticed it on BassFan.com because I was actually going to BassFan to do some research on some NPFL anglers, which I kind of find a little crazy that they don't have NPFL anglers on there or give the results or their tournament winnings on Bass Fan, which that would change. But on April 26th, there were 52 votes for yes, leave it as is, which was 41%, allow people to use forward-facing sonar, and 73 votes for no, complete ban, which was 58% of the votes. And again, that was on the 26th at 11 p.m. at night. On the 29th at 11.30 in the morning, the votes were still a little bit, were still the way they were. 77 votes, which was 46% said yes, allow it. Then 135 votes were which is 63% of them said no, complete ban. And when I started thinking about doing a short video on this, I didn't know which way I would vote. I do see the pros and the cons of both sides. I don't know that if banning it completely for recreational fishing anglers is correct. At the same time, I don't know if it's if that's the right way to do it for tournament fishing either. But if you can only have it one way or the other, which way would you vote? Now today, which is the first of the month in May, the votes have completely flip-flopped. 370 votes, which is 60%, says allow forward-facing zona. Let everyone use it. Where 245 votes, which is 39%, says ban it completely. Now again, I don't know how I would vote, to be honest. But how I vote has nothing to do with it. I'd like to hear which you would vote. Not to mention, if you really want to put forth a little bit of effort, go to BassFan.com, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the poll that they're taking. And vote there. Show the industry how you feel and what you want to see happen in the future because the industry is watching what's going on with forward-facing sonar and the people who like it and the people who dislike it they don't want to have anglers venture out and do other things they want to keep the anglers who love fishing in the industry but if there's something that they don't like that we don't like then they want to know about it and this is a good way to do it without being real negative or vocal or just being not positive and while i'm not taking away anything from the guys who are completely negative about forward-facing sonar. I understand it and appreciate their and respect their opinion. There are a lot of pros and cons to both sides of it, but if it's only no middle ground, it's either yes, it's allowed, or it's no, it's not. Which way would you vote? So go on Bass Fan or leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Hopefully this is a short video, but it doesn't look like it. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.